You've mentioned edema. Now, edema is such an important clinical finding. Shall we elaborate further on this manifestation? Yes. Edema can be pitting or non-pitting. Um, lymphedema is caused by obstructed lymphatics or as a post-operative sequelae. Pitting edema, as we know, is the most common. Under what conditions might this occur? Pitting edema can occur in heart failure, renal problems, hypoalbuminemia, immobility. It can be orthostatic or be caused by medications. We then continue with examination of the limbs. We note their colour and perfusion, their shape and proportion in relation to the torso, the muscle bulk and symmetry, the distribution of the hair and condition of the nails, evidence of skin infections, lesions and swellings such as edema. If indicated, also palpate the peripheral pulses. Pitting edema is the accumulation of fluid in the intercellular spaces. It can be confirmed by placing firm pressure with your thumb for a few seconds behind the medial malleolus or just above the ankles. When the finger is removed, a depression will remain visible. If a patient is confined to bed, then fluid will accumulate over the sacral region. A swelling, which is non-pitting, may be due to poor lymph drainage, as in lymphedema, inflammation, or myxedematous tissue, as seen with hypothyroidism. Mrs Smith, I'm going to press on your ankles now. Tell me if I cause you any pain. Mrs Smith, I'm going to do the same thing to your back. So if I ask you to lean forward. OK. Thank you. I'm just going to press down your lower back. What we have covered so far is a recording of vital signs and a quick general observation of the whole patient. The following steps in the general examination procedure will be varied depending on presentation. <music>